The Eucharistic Miracle of La Rochelle, France, in the year 1461. They devoted themselves to the teaching of the Apostles and to the communal life, to the breaking of the bread and to the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, and many wonders and signs were done through the Apostles. Acts chapter 2 verses 42 and 43 The remnants of an ancient church dedicated to Saint Bartholomew can be found in the French coastal city of La Rochelle. The church was built by the monks of Isle d'Aix in 1152. It was here that a young boy's faith in the healing power of the Eucharist resulted in his recovery. The name of the boy was Bertrand Leclerc. He lived with his father Mr. Jehan Leclerc and his mother Mrs. Parrot du Chasto. When he was about eight years old, a terrible mishap left him paralyzed and mute. It was a stormy night in the city of La Rochelle, one could hear the frightening roars of thunder. Bertrand was not keeping well and was entrusted to the care of a maid. The maid wanted to move him to another bed. She held Bertrand and entered through a window of the house where there was a ball of fire. In a fit of fear, she dropped the child to the ground. Immediately after this accident, he lost his speech and was completely immobile. Nevertheless, he grew up to be kind, devout, and virtuous. He went to church every day and loved Jesus profoundly. Seven years later, in 1461, the citizens of France were still recuperating from the 100-year war against the kingdoms of England. On the day of Easter, April 13, at 10 a.m., the people of La Rochelle assembled in the church of Saint Bartholomew. At the celebration of the Holy Eucharist were present Bertrand, and his mother Mrs. Parrot. When the Eucharistic procession began, the young boy felt a burning desire to receive Holy Communion. He was unable to speak but managed to communicate to his mother his wish to receive the precious body of Jesus. With the support of his mother, he stood up, walked into the communion queue, and approached the vicar. The mother spoke to the priest telling him that it was his son's good pleasure to receive his Creator. The priest was hesitant to give him Holy Communion since he could not speak and therefore was unable to go to confession. On hearing the refusal, the mother began to weep. Young Bertrand threw himself at the feet of the priest, joined his hands, and pleaded to be given Holy Communion. The priest was overwhelmed by the boy's faith. Moved with pity he relented and gave him the sacred host. As soon as Bertrand received Holy Communion, he felt a power moving within himself. Instantaneously he was cured. He knelt before the sanctuary and said, Ajudarium nostrum in nomine domini, that is, our help is in the name of the Lord. His mother gently looked at him and asked, You speak, my child. With tears in his eyes, he replied, Yes, my mother, God is merciful. Once again, he was able to speak and move. The chaplains and the congregation looked at this divine prodigy in admiration and awe. They all gave praise and thanks to God singing the hymn Te Deum Laudamus, God, we praise you. For many years, on Easter Monday, the miracle was commemorated in the Church of St. Bartholomew by the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. In 1568, this church along with many other churches was looted or destroyed by Huguenots Protestants. The bell towers were used as watch towers and stands to this day alongside the Cathedral of La Rochelle. The memory of this miracle is recorded in the Histoire de la Ville de La Rochelle et du Pays d'Aulnes, History of the City of La Rochelle and the Country of Aulnes, Quincium Congress Eucharistique, 15th Eucharistic Congress, Ephemerides Historiques de La Rochelle, Historical Ephemeris of La Rochelle, Livre de la Patern, Book of the Fathers, and other chronicles including a painted manuscript that vividly describes the miracle, currently preserved in the Cathedral of St. Louis. La Rochelle. Let us pray that the Eucharistic Lord may inspire us to love the most holy sacrifice of the Mass. Long life Christ the King. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. I encourage you to donate so that I can make more of these videos. God bless.